Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. This is your garden tractor, lawn tractor, trailer, so to speak. And I decided to get some wheels for it. Now, originally, I got these wheels. And you see the hub right there with the grease and zerk fitting. A friend of mine online here, Bill, you suggested doing this. And I actually accidentally found a hub that already has that. But the hubs that you get with your trailer don't have that. So this is kind of like an example of a manufacturer thinking ahead. Anyways, this is for a wheelbarrow, as you could tell here. Now, you can see the axle there. This is a solid rubber tire, very thin. And you have your pneumatic tire, very wide. Put this on here, and you'll see it does not fit. It, it's like laughing. So I got the wrong one, but I also ordered the solid core, solid rubber wheel. Now, this wheel is just a little bit too wide, so if I cut this off here, it will be the perfect width. And then when I flip it over for this side, you'll see the difference. You can see the nuts, and now you can see the bolts. This will be flush, and then I can drill through here, put a cotter pin, boom. These will be the new wheels for this trailer. As you can see, I didn't take any time at all. I did skim a little bit off the top here. But we're just going to drill through and uh, have enough to insert a cotter bin. I do not know why that says test. Maybe somebody was using it for a testing purposes. But yeah, so let's drill that, put the cotter bin in, and then we have a trailer. Well, I couldn't find my pins for the axles. Basically, I'm going to use this to make the pin after I drill it. Got the drill here, got some penetrating fluid to act as uh, the drill fluid. But your cutter pins should look like this when you're done. I can't find mine, but I found my kit of Zerk fittings and their grease fittings. So if in the future I know where that is, as for my cutter pins, I haven't seen those things in years. I know I have a whole entire kit, a whole plethora of different types and sizes for all shapes and whatever. I looked for them for the last trailer I fixed, couldn't find them. So we're moving on. We're going to do our own. And this is a lawn trailer, so it doesn't actually matter for high-speed applications. drilled all the way through, we're going to do our custom cotter bin. It actually turned out really good. You got the cotter pin going through that I made from some hardwood staples. Comes through, legs go out, boom. Looks very similar to this guy. That's an actual cotter pin. Not a fake, like this. But this one's gonna work. That's beautiful. You can do the other side, and I'm done. That last wheel took a little longer than I was anticipating, but I got it done. Just business. Had to do some extra modifications. We now have a working set. The hole is a little bit different on from this side to the other side. So an eighth of an inch caused a little bit more time to be put in, but all in all, it's good. These tires won't go flat like your pneumatic ones, your air-filled ones. The only downside of these tires, guys, is because it has a smaller footprint, it will cut into the grass a bit more. I don't have to really worry about that because I don't have much grass. But that's just how it is. And the good part about this, these things usually get a hole in them. With a solid rubber tire, you never have to worry about it. I could double these up, that would involve me getting a longer axle. That was also a thought, 
I uh, couldn't be bothered with it though to go find another axle. Anyways, on with the video. This is awesome. And uh, I'm daggone happy with it. Looks good. That's the tractor. Now, I haven't quite finished this one yet. Still got to clean and paint that. Uh, there's a couple little things. I did get some tires for this. So this is the size of tire for these guys. When these ones blow up, I will put these on. But all in all, she looks pretty good. Alrighty, trailer is back to being operable. I still need to do a tailgate and I'll show you why. Go over here. If you look down here, that's cracked, and that's what's causing that to do that. Over here, it's not, and it's pretty uh, solid. So I still have to make a tailgate, so I'll bring this to work, weld this up, cut a piece of diamond plate, have this fit in here, probably make some uh, things that'll slide into here, and that should work out. I believe that'll be a bolt to help it retain its rigidity, help it keep it together. Now it does have a tilt mechanism. Pull that, flip this, boom. So that's just like that. You want to dump stuff and then back down. But make sure you put your trailer pin in, otherwise you will lose it. So yeah, things are coming together. Be using this beast tomorrow and we'll see how she does. So amongst the chaos, if you like what I do here guys, if any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you all as soon as I can. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.